Today, I'm going to show you how to add scrolling behavior to your UX prototype. Let's get started. So to start off, I'm opening up a project that I am currently working on. It's a restaurant app that allows users to find and review restaurants in their neighborhood. I'm currently working on this wish list section that allows users to create a list of their own. Users can create a title for the list and then add restaurants to it. So currently I have the header for the section, a plus button that allows users to add a new list, the current list that a user has with the ability to modify or edit it, and then a list of restaurants that they have pinned. I want to add scrolling behavior to this list so it feels as realistic as possible. So right now I currently have an origami file that I've already set to an iPhone 8 because that is the dimension that I'm currently working with. If I jump back into Sketch, I'm going to grab each element piece by piece and then bring them into my prototype. I already have a video that goes over how to import your sketch designs into origami, so if you're brand new to this, I really recommend watching that video. I'll link that video in the description below. First, I'm going to grab the status bar, the header and the add icon, and the current list label. Command C to copy it, and I'm going to go into origami and then paste it by clicking Command V. Going back into sketch, I'm going to grab that bottom navigation. Again, saying Command C to copy it, and then Command V to paste it. For this one, I'm going to go to the anchor settings and pin it to the bottom of the screen. Next, I'm going to grab my actual list of restaurants. But we notice something happens here. The list gets cut off. So if I go back into Sketch and actually hide this bottom navigation, you can see that the bottom of this list ends with that grill restaurant and that's exactly where it is being cut off in the origami prototype. I actually made this entire list into one symbol with several nested symbols inside of it. So I'm going to double click to get to the symbol layer of it. And then you can see how long this list actually is. It contains several more restaurants. So I'm going to take this entire symbol layer, click Command C to copy it. Again, go back into origami and then paste it by clicking Command V and I'm going to delete that original list layer. Now you can see the entire list is placed into origami. So I'm going to place that list beneath the other two layers and I'm going to just label everything so it's organized. So this is the navigation, this is the header, and this is the list layer. So I want to add interactivity to this prototype so when I swipe up and swipe down, it behaves as you would expect and actually scrolls. So first, I'm going to take this list and align it to where it should line up. So the way that I'm going to make this entire list scrollable is by adding a scroll interaction to this list layer. So if I just click touch and then scroll Y, this interaction patch appears with the result affecting the Y position of the list. Instantly, you can notice that the list shifted upward because the default properties is to have the Y position start at zero. However, if I scroll on this list, now I can have this free scrolling. We're having some issues with the bottom of the list and with the top of the list, but overall the user would be able to scroll. So what I have to do now is I have to contain that list within this viewable area. I want the entire list to be visible within this one container of the UI. So the way that I'm going to contain this list is by putting it in a group. Group offset is automatically added as a value here. And the point of this group is to basically control where this is visible. So right now the group is the same size of all of its contents. So right now list is the only item in the group and it's 375 by 1001 pixels. So the group has the same dimensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to limit the size of that group to fit within this container. Therefore, the list will only be viewable in that container. So for the group, I'm going to set the height to 667, which is the height of the phone dimensions, minus 120 for the header area, and then minus 49 for the bottom navigation height. 
So if I click the navigation, you can see the height of the navigation, and that's how I determined the height of the group. But as you can see, the group starts at 0, 0, which is in this top position. Therefore, you don't see all of the list items. So instead, I'm going to move its Y position to 120, so it moves downward, and now it's popped correctly into place. So that's how I add vertical scrolling to my UX prototypes. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.